all my friends that were musicians as well, and we were all living the same starving artist sort of life. You have to work a full-time job and then do your band just when you have the time. It wasn't like you could ever make the band the main thing. All that was going through my mind was, how can I make this work? What is the missing ingredient? So I remember one summer's night, I was sitting on the floor watching TV and I heard this noise that just instantly grabbed my attention. It sounded like this. And I remember seeing on the screen Ozzy Osbourne and the rest of the guys all wearing black, long hair, crowd just going absolutely crazy. All I knew in that moment was that I wanted to play guitar and I wanted to play that riff. This is my first ever electric guitar and then all my friends went inside it or wrote profanity, one of the two. You know, it was like this sense of passion that I, I, I'd been missing. I was thinking like, you know, one day I'm gonna be able to play these solos note for note. Like any guitar player, I was like, right, I'm gonna be in a band. Anywhere that we could play, we would just jump on the chance. We started making a name for ourselves we went to Amsterdam, we went to Germany. I thought that I was doing everything right. I remember arriving home and I'm seven and a half thousand dollars behind on rent and I can barely afford to eat. All that was going through my mind was how can I make some money in a way that is at least in line with my dream. I could see that the world was moving online. So the most logical thing I could think of was an online business. I remember saying to the guys in the band, I'm gonna build this online guitar lesson course. What I thought was gonna take me one month to complete ended up taking three years. And I clicked the button which made it go live. So I'm just sitting there hitting refresh thinking like, I think I may have wasted my time here, you know? And then I remember refreshing it just one more time and I, I just saw my first sale had come in. I started getting feedback that way that my teaching actually giving them real results. You start reading those and you're like, wow, like I can actually help people. I can actually change people's lives. Eventually I was making enough. I was able to actually buy myself a real bed. All right, you twist it. The business was growing, but I was struggling with being able to grow it as fast as I wanted and as big as I wanted. I had heard about a guy called Ryan Levesque who had a book. It's the first time I've ever read a book from cover to cover, especially in just one day. I jumped on board for the Ask Method Masterclass. After just starting implementing the Ask Method, Things were beginning to snowball quicker and quicker. We're growing faster and faster. It seems like every couple of months we're adding somebody else new to the team. What I learned has completely transformed the way that I do business and allows us to, to have 100% clarity on what we should be creating. The Ask Method allowed me to grow my company from being a one-man operation with me sleeping on a broken fold-out couch to build every musician's dream, a home recording studio and my new house. It's been a long journey. I used to have a car that I would literally push to start and then now I've got a car that I've pushed to start. When I started this, I started it because of my passion and my love of playing guitar. And I had no idea how many guitar players that I was going to end up influencing with these people saying that I've, I've changed the way that they, they play guitar forever. Being able to give that to other people while you're following your dream is something that I didn't expect to happen, but I'm very grateful that it did. <laughs>